is desire here and if this is your first time you're welcome if this is not your first time thank you so much for coming back today i am going to the african store i'm still in class it's literally lunch time that's why it's so empty and i just want to begin this video here because class ends at 4 30 it's a friday and um i'm going to walk to the african store so this is like my only time to actually start this video um i'll just be getting a few things i'll let you know the prices i'll let you know how much access we have to stuff here um and first of all i'm going to go to i'm going to get some vegetables from a vegetable store then after class i will go to the african store so if you want to know what it's like in italy if you're nigerian and you have such nigerian taste buds will you have enough food how much does it cost then you should keep watching this video i have my grocery shopping list for the day the fruity vendor low in italy is basically the fruit and vegetables vendor run either by locals or by immigrants i like going here because the fruits and vegetables are usually quite fresh and is a wide range of them so you can find most of the fruits and vegetables that are available in italy and locally grown love the mandarinas and the bananas but the size of the apples they can be really big sometimes and this is everything that i got class is finally done it is to five or so and i don't know why it looks so dark because the season is changing but i'm on the way to the african store now there are about three of them here but i'm going to maybe one or maximum two of them and i'll just show you what it looks like some of the ah, how much some of these things cost and basically like what it costs to survive on nigerian food here in italy understanding you respected every boundary you so exciting wasn't expecting for you to be here still i don't think you know so i'm in the store now and look look at the band um, i'm just going to get a bunch of stuff i want to get ramen for my roommates too so well, it's pretty big you know it has the whole like vibe of like nigerian typical stores so first of all uh milo this small size is five euros uh born vita is th oh this is the big one 13 the 500 gram is 7 euro 50 uh oval team is 380 we also have uh there's obono i don't know how much this is uh crayfish a goosey plantain sometimes it's fresher than this sometimes it's not and there's also unripe plantain i've never i've never bought yam before but there's yam <laughs> there's even like ede if you're Igbo, you know that ede is like for all our soups but the nor is three your eighty. yeah it is what it is there is indomie but this is a nigerian indomie this is nigerian indomie i think this is like indonesian indomie and this is nigerian indomie but um both of them cost the same um 40 cents 40 cents there are different brands of palm oil and um this one is like three euro 30 for the one euro for the one liter size and they cost about the same um i've tried this one it's okay i guess there's also palm cream which i've heard is better than the palm oil here i've never actually used it but i heard it's better for like making opora and all the other soups that i really like so i'll probably try this too one thing i love about the purchase culture here is that you can weigh everything once it comes to like raw things like pepper okra tomatoes anything i really really like that and you can hand pick them not that you're being forced to buy something that is not to your taste so this is the section where they have like meat and fish i'm going to get this turkey it is just about the same price in nigeria if this is not even cheaper this is the beans that i use um this brand has like tons and tons of stuff they have ogbono that's how serious they are and they have like a bunch of spices um but this is really good it tastes it tastes really nice but they typically also have like nigerian beans they've run out it used to be around this section but to me this is cheaper and it still tastes nice when i make it so i don't see any reason to spend extra on nigerian beans all right it's one euro each yeah one okay one okay okay that's fine thank you okay into the bag who brought me who brought me here i came in the plane 
Okay. How much is this, please? One euro sixty. Okay, one euro sixty. See, one year, yes. <laughs> I know. At least I know numbers. But you speak Italian. Mm -hmm. Very small. How many? Also have like other stuff like household stuff. They have a few stationery too, and cartons of Indomie. So the people that sell here are really nice, really nice. They're nice, okay. <laughs> they're soft, they're nice. They just like want to talk to you and be nice to you. To me, this is my experience and my friend's experience. So they're very nice. They remember people. Like they'll be like, oh, you were here last time. And he's like, yeah, I was. I'm going to try to get a battery for my, um, my, I got a new like tripod thing. So you know that, that camera remote thing. Yeah, that. Let me see if they have it. I, I'm so happy I just remembered it. They also have Asian food. I'm supposed to get ramen for my roommate for Ian, but I do not know which one she asked me to get. So I'm going to hope that you have it because I think she really likes it. And I've heard that these, have you had cup noodles before? I've heard that cup noodles are not as good as the regular ones that you cook. What do you think? If you've had both, which do you prefer? I have one of these, but I still not tried it. I'm going to buy milk. I haven't had powdered milk since I got here. This is four euro fifty for this size. I've not had powdered milk since I got here. I've been drinking the regular liquid milk. What country? Try to look for the country. I don't know. When I saw all these fair and white caro white things, I just remember thinking, ah, so we really brought this bleaching culture all the way here. They have these um, like braids things, and they're eight euro each. Expression and friends. Thankfully, I never have to get these. They usually have Malta Guinness, but I can't see Malta Guinness here today. There it is. There is Malta Guinness, one euro fifty. Super expensive. Okay, not super expensive, but it's kind of expensive. A spy. Uh, see. Uh, um, quanto costa? One euro. One euro. For one? one Aye, that's quite expensive. No. I had to make a quick stop at the second one because the ramen for my roommate wasn't at the first one. This one is a lot brighter, as you can see. They have about the same options. This is slightly more expensive, very, very slightly. But I like this place. I don't know. They're just like really like bright. <laughs> this black soap, this black soap is so popular in Nigeria. Really? Yeah, like oh. it's super popular. No, it's this still one? Yeah, that green one. Oh. Yeah, it's super popular, but I don't like it. I'm walking back home and it's about 30 minutes away from my house. I decided to stop by at Aldi just to get a few things because Aldi is typically my preferred place to shop for other stuff that I don't find at the African store. So I am back and I'm also tired, but I'm going to quickly show you what I got from the African store, maybe also from Aldi. We'll see. My things. This is very heavy. First of all, things I got from Aldi. Cereal. My absolute favorite cookies. Bread. Bags for the waste bin. I, I hope I didn't get the wrong one. This is it, right? Anyway, tomato sauce. No, tomato puree. What, what's the rest of it? Is there a rest of it? Oh, oh and I got grapes. So all of this cost me 10 euro 61 cents. So to the stuff I got from the African store. First of all, I got um, three packs of ramen for my roommate. I got eggs, but one of my eggs got broken. I hope it's not like two or three. Normally I buy eggs from anywhere, but this was one euro 80 cents, 10 eggs. This is sad. Pig milk, this was four euros 50 if I remember correctly. I bought this tin of pig milk, which by the way, golden rule, if you know that you're coming from a country with a weaker currency, like the Naira against the Euro, don't convert when you're buying stuff. You will not buy anything. Just just don't do it. It's a mistake, I promise you. Just buy your things and move on with your life. And I got this turkey there. One, two, three. There are four pieces in here for two euro eighty. I'm guessing this is like um this is one kilogram. I'm guessing, I don't know, but it's four pieces and this is definitely cheaper than at home, definitely. Then I bought 
okra, some okra and rudu over here, and it costs one euro thirty for like this. This is the rudu, and this is the okra. Both of them together cost one euro thirty because they weigh like fresh produce. They weigh it, um, and then they have the prices in per kilogram. So. Both of them were read and the total was just given to me. Why did I buy this? Look at this. I didn't look at it properly. So sad. Just a mess. And it costs the same. So I bought four pieces of plantain and one cost 40 cents. So four of them cost one euro sixty. Um, I usually eat two at a sitting and if you don't know, plantain and eggs are my favorite food. And so this just generally makes me very happy. I'm probably going to have some tomorrow morning because tonight I'm going to eat like indomie or something and then i got ginger powder and garlic powder i wanted like a mix of both but i don't know if it's that they don't have it in the store or it doesn't exist so i'm just i just made spices because the one i brought from home um is almost finished so i lost my receipt but everything i bought from the african store cost 13 euros 60 cents this alone was five euros so every other thing was about eight euros and this will last me a while if i'm being honest so i don't have any problems um you know just buying this once a week or once in two weeks probably once in two weeks because i'm the only one eating it i don't have a family here so this is just a one person thing so i would not for example milk i will not have to buy milk for at least another month um i'm going to use the turkey to cook jollof rice that will last me at least a week so Relatively, this is actually like really good and it's definitely a lot cheaper than eating out. So in case you're wondering why didn't I buy like other stuff like Ogono, Egusi and the rest, is because I have so much of it here. Like my mom gave me a box full of Nigerian food stuff before I left Nigeria. I don't need to buy any of those, but those things are there. They are not cheap, but they are at prices that are affordable um, for people who really do, you know, who earn averagely in my opinion it's generally very nice to have access to this because that was one of my biggest problems and even a major reason why i carried all of these things but it's great to have access to these things and it's great to also like go into a place where you genuinely like see everybody like looking like you i don't know like this is not like a race thing but because italy is a country with caucasian people you don't find too many black people here so when you go in but when you go into the african asian store you do see a lot of like nigerians or africans just people that are, so it was well, it's nice and people who also like speak english so it does help um but yeah that is it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this haul and if you would like to see like a regular grocery shopping haul with me please let me know thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next video bye Better off than afraid. Oh.